What's going on, everyone? Hopefully you guys are having a good Saturday night. Back after a little bit of a break. And uh, figured, you know what? We haven't done anything like this before. So we're going to do a little bit of a Zeta breakdown. By the way, I am playing on PC. Um, for whatever reason, I'm not sure why. Um, I got to figure out and look at it. But... Um, Whenever I leave the game application on my PC, um, the music mutes. And I'm not sure why, but <clears throat> we'll, um, you know, figure that out another time. So, but yeah, like I said, it's been a minute since I've done anything like this. I don't think I've ever done anything like this before, but I figured with uh, tonight... Um, instead of doing like playing a bunch of matches and all that stuff, um, because yeah, that could be done anytime, I wanted to do like an actual like thoughts and breakdown of the main character that I play, which is uh Zeta. Um, you know, there's obviously a lot of opinions on this character, um. But I wanted to kind of share my perspective on how she operates, where her strengths are, where her weaknesses are, um, and also kind of like to see what I would hope to kind of, you know, see that she gets with a update in the, you know, as far as buffs and nerfs are concerned. Um, with the character um and like i said these are all Characters my own select. thoughts um some of them are common opinion others you know are just kind of like the way i feel about the character and this is also open for discussion too like just because you know something said about a character or there's a thought about a character or whatever the case may be that doesn't mean it's written in stone about that, you know? So obviously I'm open to, you know, discussion about the character um, and seeing where she's at and everything. Um, so let's uh, just go ahead and hop right into it. Let's um, start Policy. breaking down Zeta in Grand Blue Fantasy Versus. Um, Zeta. Versus really, Grant. ever since like the full game drop, she's been my day one. In the beta, I played Catalina, but when Zeta was announced and when Zeta was shown off and everything, I was like, okay, this is actually the character that I really wanted to play because I really liked a lot of things that she had to offer. I liked her combo structure. I liked uh, her moves. I liked, you know, the tools that she had. Um, and I felt like that would be you know, tools that I have really that I have fun with, to say the least, when it comes to the character. Alright, so here we go. We got Zeta. Now, what is Zeta? What is she? Um, as far as a character, like, how would she be described? In my opinion, as far as, like, the way I would describe Zeta, is that she is a character that has... A very unique offensive tool set that is really solid. Um, I think her her buttons that she has, which we'll go over like the normals and stuff like that, are really good. Um, her special move toolkit has a lot of good things. Some I wish could get tweaked a little bit, but all in all, she's you know. Offensively, she is incredibly solid. Um, let's go over her normals real quick before we kind of go more in depth with like what her playstyle is going to be and everything. Um, as far as like what Zeta can do. All right, so um, 
by the way, um, I do have training mode here, and you see the color coordination. Um, if you see that she's red, it shows that she's at disadvantage. If she's blue, it's um, plus for you. And then if it's um, yellow, it's neutral. It's even. Um, so, all right. Let's go ahead and go right into Zeta here. All right. 5L, far. This is uh, basically, you know, just a standing kick. Very reminiscent to me as, like, how Kami's uh, stand light oh, kick is in Street Fighter. Kind of that same animation. It's got a decent, um, decent hitbox. It's some good spacing with it. Um, if you get, I think if you get a counter hit, you can link into EX, um... You go right into EX, which causes a knockdown, so that's good with that. So if you see that counter hit, you just go right into EX lunge. But that's a different story with that. Uh, 5M. This is her basic poking tool. Now, as you see, though, she's negative on hit on this. So you have to cancel into a special to be able to keep pressure going. So you get the hit, cancel into the lunge. The only ones that combo from her 5M are the light light lunge and her EX. Um, if you try to do the medium, it doesn't combo from the spacing with that. Um, but this is her general poking tool that you will use. Um, it's decent. But it can lose to some other normals, such as Catalina's 5M, even some of Grand's buttons. So while it's a decent poking tool, uh, be prepared to see it possibly get beaten out, especially with the hurt box that extends out and everything. Uh, 5H. I'll be honest, this is a button I need to utilize more. Um, it's got decent range, so about, you know, character away. You can get that, and then be able to actually combo right into her medium launch. So you're able to be able to, you know, confirm off that if you see that it gets hit. Um, the reason why I think it's a solid button, um, it's actually, at least when I was doing research, right, and looking up some of the stuff with her, I believe her 5H actually is a two-frame faster startup than her 5M. Um, so it's a good move to kind of throw out there, especially at this range where you get that hit, uh, to just kind of check, check your opponents, basically. Um, I know, for like I said, for me personally, it's a very underutilized button for me personally. Um, so it's like for me, I, it, that should be a button I should throw out more. But it's a, like I said, it's solid for what it is. And like I said, you get that hit even from that max range, you're able to combo right into her uh, medium spear of Arvis. Be able to pick that up. Um, five U. This is uh, her unique action. It's basically a repeated stab. Now, what makes this button unique, right? is that if the opponent's blocking um and you actually can let's see if i can set this up right uh, let's see counter attack you see like if if they tried to throw out a button like that you can actually catch them with a counter hit. So if spaced right, this could actually be a pretty solid like frame trap feel. See how it whiff punishes the uh, the standing light there? And if you see that when she, she's um, doing this, um, while she is negative, um, it's still spaced out enough to where she's safe in this regard. So it's a pretty decent button to kind of throw out, like in the middle of a block string to kind of create the space for you again. 
and then maybe try to throw out your 5H or even your 5M or stuff like that to try to whiff punish um, certain normals if they try to throw something out there or whatnot. Um, all right, so that goes over her her um, standing normals. Um, crouching normals, 2L is a really good button. It's got decent range and it's a low. So they, you have to be very wary of that when you throw that out. Um, it is also plus on block. So it's plus two on block. See, she's at, at, at advantage the entire time. Um, with that. Uh, her 2M, I'll be honest, this is a button I really don't use that much. Um, but I probably should. Because it's a little more poking range than her 5M. Um, the 5M from this range, it whips. But when she's 2M, she's got a little more range to be able to play with. Or actually, no, never mind. Might be... Might be the same range, actually. Might have been just because of the push block it was affecting it. But, no, yeah. So it's the same range. It's the same range. Um, basically, same button. Um is negative on block just like the other ones um really it's the same button yellow diver thanks for the host man appreciate it when you look at um what zeta does there so yeah it's basically the same button and as you can see um they're both considered high so they both have the same block so yeah really it's just the same button just different animation in that regard um Zeta 2H. This is her anti-air button. I have a very strong love-hate relationship with this particular button. Um, I'll explain why. So, the animation, as you see, she stands up, right? Her hurt box actually extends up before the hitbox even becomes active. So if you throw this out too, um, too late, you actually will lose to certain jump in attacks. I don't know how many times I've lost to Charlotta Jump A when I've tried to anti-air Charlotta and only to see her Jump A beat out my 2H attempt to anti-air. Um, with that said, though, like, that's the only strong drawback with that. With that said, though, you get a lot off of it if you anti it properly. Um, you could do things along the lines of um, just going into her, her down-down special, or... If you're feeling really confident with the way you're playing, you get that corner carry with that and just pick up that way. And that, and again, those are off just straight hits. Those, those aren't even off counter hits. He also scored a knock, score a knock, hard knockdown on that too. So. You get a lot of mileage off of a 2H anti-air with her. Um, it's just, um, again, one of those deals, though, where if you do it too early or whatever the case may be, um, or too late, I should say, there could be opportunities where that 2H will lose. And then her, her final crouching attack will do is her sweep. It's two-hit sweep which is to you and she's able to get a lot of unique uh setups off at too uh with her safe jumps and everything so that's kind of something else uh that we'll look at and go over a little bit later as far as what she brings to the table there too um close proximity normals let's go ahead and do that real quick too um her close 5l um 
plus on block. So you can, uh, you know, create some uh, situations there where you're at advantage. Uh, close 5M is even on block. Um, so it's just neutral there. Um, it's also a pretty fast button to come out too when it comes to using her uh, proximity 5M. It's actually a pretty fast normal when you look at it. Just a straight rising knee. Um, 5H. Obviously, an incredibly neg negative on block for her close 5H. But, when you're in proximity, you can just, you know, go into your basic string and be able to keep it safe and stuff. So, so some things to kind of keep an eye out with that. Um, jump attacks. Her 5A is pretty much like every other 5A in the game, or five or uh, jump L, I mean. Um, incredibly active. Can hit overhead. Um, can create a little bit of a situation with that. Uh, her jump M is her cross up button. This button is really good with cross ups. And you can hit it pretty deep too. Um, to be able to continue combos and everything. So, what you'll see is some set of players will like to do this and then try to flip to the other side to be able to try to get a cross up. Yeah, see how she ended up on the other side? Now, of course, there's the guard button that plays in effect too, but let's be honest, there'll be some players that won't utilize or will forget about the guard button, and they'll still get hit by a cross-up with that. So you have that button, that's good there too. Uh, jump Heavy is a really good air-to-air -air that you can use. It's got decent range. But her best jump attack is her jump U, your basic pogo. And this thing can hit incredibly low. Um, to show an example. See how low she does hit? Like literally on Grand's kneecap. So you can create some silliness with uh, the pogo. Now be careful because you'll, you will have some characters when you try to stagger like that that will try to use their involve reversals and everything. So you gotta be pretty careful of how you utilize it, but it's a very important part of her toolkit, especially when she gets uh, gets knockdowns and corner setups with utilizing that button, which we'll look at and get into a little bit later. <coughs> uh, specials. Go ahead and get into the uh, specials next with uh, Zeta. Um, her fireball projectile, her beam, one of the strongest projectiles in the game. It literally nullifies almost every other projectile in the game. So Grant's fireball, uh, Catalina's projectile, Lancelot's projectile, Percival's projectile, Vasaraga's, um, Matera's low um, arrow, Zeta's beam will neutralize all of that. So she can definitely hold her own in a projectile style game um, if they want to play that type of match with you. Um, the cool thing with her B projectile, you can hold it and throw off timing because your opponent will try to predict how your projectiles are going to go and they'll either try to spot roll through it, spot dodge, or actually try to jump and approach. Um, but if you're doing the B version of her projectile, just hold it down and it affects their timing of how they want to approach. And then her EX uh, projectile um, is more known for combo extensions, especially in the corner. Um, I did remember seeing some other type of practicality with, um, practicality with her, but I can't remember what it was off the top of my head. It's something I actually have to add to researching and playing myself as far as um, what she does there. Um, her other go-to special is Spear of Arvis. Um, the reason being is it's a 
multi-hitting move and you can track its second um, motion wherever you want to go. Uh, so like if you wanted to retreat after doing the 6-6 six, six input, um, you just hit back into the attack again and she retreats. <coughs> It's a pretty good way to get space again in case they block or whatever. <coughs> Be mindful, though, of um, throwing this out too much. Um, because there are some characters... That's not what I wanted. That actually can punish it. Yeah, see, so for example, Grand Air was able to punish that in that regard. So you gotta be careful with how you utilize it. Um, now, it is safe. Oops, I think I hit a button there. I think it is safe anyway, we'll see. No, it's, it is very unsafe. At least the medium variant was. Light is safe. Yeah. So if you do the light variant, she's actually safe on that. Um, so it's probably better for you just to end your block strings with the light version. That way, at least she's safe. She loses her turn, um, but she's at least safe. Oh, whoops. Did I take away... Yeah. So, it's she's negative, but she's still at least safe. Um, let's see. What else does uh, she have? Oh, she also has the air variant. Where she could just, um... Uh, jump in the air and then do 2-2 two -two into special. So she's able to use that as well. This is good for throwing off anti-air attempts, right? So if you jump up, you see someone trying to anti-air, you stagger, you get the hit counter hit, and you can be able to, you know, throw off uh, anti-air timing with this move. Um, she also has the variant on the ground as well. Uh, 2-2-L two, two, does like a little, like, little angle, whereas 2-2-B two, two, goes straight up. Same with the EX version. Her EX version has the A trajectory, um, as well. Um, and then finally, her parry stance, which is 2-1-4 attack. Um... This is kind of her way of baiting out, you know, certain opponents trying to, you know, mash out of strings or baiting out wake ups in certain regards. Um, 214L parries all mids and, and highs. 214M is for lows. And the EX, which is the one you're going to utilize the most, does both high and low, and it's also active on frame one. Um, and as long as she is in this armor stance, every attack, she's just going to armor through. Um, she also has different follow-ups with her armor. She has the A follow-up, which is just like a horizontal attack. Um, the B follow-up is more in the air. Um, it's actually a pretty solid, decent anti-air too. So you can call out some jump attacks with that by doing armor and immediately throwing that out to be an anti-air. And then her C follow-up is this knee strike. Um, it's also, the C strike is also her fastest follow-up um, that she's able to do out of armor stance. Now, there are some situations that does happen with armor stance to where she can be baited out with her follow-ups. Um, it loses to grabs. It loses to... Um, 
multiple like um like a like a chain attack if you do a follow-up too early especially the a or b variant where there's a little more startup with those there could be situations where it will lose to that as well um so you just have to be really cognizant of where you utilize those follow-ups with zeta because there are chances that it will lose to like i said a mashed out uh close proximity string or you know tick grabs will beat it out too um so you just gotta be careful with that but it's a good option to use to be able to check like strings that may have uh gaps in it so for example the diva string where she does um attack attack into ex headbutt you actually have enough time to be able to armor parry um the ex headbutt and catch her off with that and everything so there are ways to be able to utilize that to you know throw off you know certain gaps and stuff like that that are in strings but like i said it's one of those deals where it's like you don't want to over utilize it because in turn they can turn around and find a way to bait that out and beat you out of it so it's a it's a little mind game when it comes to that um i believe that covers i guess we should go ahead and go under her supers as well so she has of course her skybound art which is a pretty good damaging combo um ender when you have certain combos that you want to do um and the cool thing is she also has an air variant of the com of the super as well so prime example a combo like this Oops, hold on a sec. i'll get it here yeah so she can, has an air variant of it too it's a good way to end certain strings and be able to get um, a pretty good grip of damage if that's your choice of ender for a combo to use, especially when you have the meter. And then, of course, her super skybound art, which is for the triple forward with unique. As far as super skybound goes, it does pretty decent damage, as you saw there. Um, it's also got a very good hitbox in front of it as well. So it can catch opponents from a pretty good distance. Um, that was a bad attempt. <laughs> so about a half character away. If you see someone like try to throw out a normal like whip on it, like try to you know, catch you with uh, some spacing, whatever, and you're able to react to it in time, you could actually catch them with it. Um, so it's a pretty good um, Super Skybound arc to use. Also a pretty good reversal if you see, like, you know, someone try to go into a string and then you see them go over overhead or something along those lines, able to catch them with the Super Skybound arc. Um, so that kind of covers... All of Zeta's moves for the most part. Oh, okay. Uh, throws. Has one throw here where she just kind of creates space with that. That's her forward throw. Her back throw is where she is able to just throw a little bit of a knockdown. And then you're able to get into, you know, some type of okey play if that's what you want to utilize for that. Okay, so... Now that we've kind of gone over all that with Zeta, what's her game plan? What is the thing that she wants to do the most? Um, like I was saying with Zeta, to me, she is a character that is, as far as momentum goes, she depends on momentum the most, in my opinion, in this game. Um, she wants to score a hard knockdown to where she can set up her safe jumps, her mix-ups off of those knockdowns. She is the definition of 
a character that has to have momentum to be successful. Um, especially against other characters that are just really solid in themselves. Gran, Catalina, um, Fairy. Um, she depends on using that momentum to her advantage. Um, especially, you know, with the, with the Spear of Arvis attacks, um, knockdowns to be able to create safe jumps. Um, those are her... That's basically her key game plan. If she loses momentum, or she starts getting into a situation where her back is ex against the wall, and she needs to overextend to try to get that momentum back. It's really hard for her. Um, because her offensive tools and, and offensive pressure are so good. Um, if she's, like, back against the wall, really tough for her. Um, so... That's kind of, like, what you want to do as far as her game plan goes. You want to play with momentum, you want to score knockdowns and everything, and you also, in a sense, you also want to play with a lead with her too. Because then, what you're doing is, you're forcing your opponent to overextend themselves to where, you know, if you decide that, like, you want, or, you know, say you mess up, like, a safe jump opportunity to keep your advantage or whatever, and you have to reset neutral, whatever the case, but you're still in the lead or whatever, um, you can still be able to play a little bit of a lane game with her projectiles, forcing them to react to what you're doing, catch them with an anti-air if they try to jump in, and then you, you're still back to the person pressing your advantage when it comes to her play. Um, it's always, like I said, main goals with Zeta, you want to gain momentum you want to keep that momentum and you also want to play with a life lead to be able to you know utilize what makes her so strong as far as her offensive toolkit is concerned back against the wall it's going to be hard um if you're trying to reclaim a life lead it's going to be incredibly hard you're going to have to take some risks to get back in and while zeta does have those tools to try to play with those risks, um, it's still tough, especially against characters that have amazing anti-airs, like Gran, like Catalina, Lancelot as well. Um, you have to really start overextending yourself as far as what you wanna do with Zeta when it comes to that. So, what are some of her safe jump op options that she has? Um, as we mentioned before, like the game plan with her is to try to score a hard knockdown as much as possible. I've seen a lot of different Zeta players, even in mid screen, use the EX to score that knockdown to be able to try to get her game plan going the way she wants to. Obviously, the game plan with her is more effective in the corner. See how she's neutral in that. Um, if you miss timed your safe jump or miss input your safe jump or whatever, she would obviously be negative. But she's still ye even. She's yellow, so she lands in time. So even if Grand wanted to do a reversal, she would still be able to block it. That it cares if we do this right. Yeah, see? She landed just in time to be able to bait that DP out. And that she was able to score, you know, be able to be safe. And now she'll be able to get a free punish off of it and basically do whatever she wants. Um, she can get that off of a knockdown like that in the corner. Off of a throw. <laughs> Like, that's a pretty good damaging punish combo there for 50%. I missed the ender, though, with the with the sweep. Um, she is able to sweep off that, too. 
There it is. And then, yeah, you get your safe jump to bait out DP, and then it's back to your turn again. So, sorry, that took a few reps, but we finally got it. Um, she also has another one that you could do, too. That one is her more optimal damage one, but she does have a simpler one that you could do, too, um, that gives you the same thing. You're sacrificing about an extra 10% of damage here, but you're also not using another EX move um, that she's able to get with that. So that one's a little bit more simpler to do. And again, you score the knockdown still, you get your safe jump set up um, that you can do whether you want to throw out another you know, jump you, do your pogo mix up. If you want to do empty jump low, if you want to do empty jump throw, um, she gets a lot of different uh, things off of these safe jump setups, which makes her incredibly, you know, tough to deal with when she is at advantage and she has everything going with her offense. Um, and she can do okay damage at that point too. It's not Catalina damage, but it's still decent enough to where you'll be able to, you know, be able to flip momentum back your way or keep momentum for you in those regards as well. Um, so that's kind of everything for me as far as Zeta is concerned um, with, you know, what she's able to bring. Um, I do think there's a couple tweaks I would like to see her get. Um, and again, these are just my personal things that I would like to see get adjusted with her. Uh, one of the things, like I said, I personally would like to see. Um, I know there may be people that don't agree with it, and that's fine. If they don't agree, that's fine. That's the beauty of having like these conversations about a character or whatever the case may be. Um, so one thing I would like to see is that for, at least on her EX armor, if her follow-ups can get some strike in ball. Um, I'm not talking about like strike in ball throughout the entire thing, but at least for like the first few frames or whatever. Um, it's really, really discouraging when you think you've timed a follow-up right, but you still get hit by a normal. An example, Lancelot's 5C, or his close 5H. It's a two-hit normal, but if you mistime it, the second hit of his normal is still going to hit you out of your follow-up. So you lost your EX, and then it's just like, ugh, whatever. It's unfortunate. Um... Just, I think this for me personally, just something else defensively for her. Um, I don't want to say give her like an in-ball reversal. I think that'd be kind of a bit too much for that. Um, that's why I think I'll be okay with like having the, uh, the strike in-ball. I also, um... As far as like some other things for her, maybe have her projectile have a little bit, like at least her light projectile be a true block string. Like I said, that might be that might be asking for much, for too much. But yeah, you see, I mean, they see that it's a free punish for them. Just something to, like, help her keep a little bit of pressure. Um, to be honest, like, like, really personally for me, I don't think she needs a lot. I just think she may need a couple, a couple things here and there. Um, but nothing to the point that is, um, gonna make her completely overpowered, if you know what I mean. Um.
That's kind of the idea with her when it comes to that. Um, so that's kind of like my overall thoughts of the character. I think, like I said, I think she's solid. She can hold her own. She has viability. I mean, obviously, the better Zeta players to watch right now, Mago, obviously, is like the top of the top right now when it comes to Zeta players. Uh, North America, um, Real Ice is a really strong Zeta player to watch. Um, he's done work at like Ronin Rumbles and everything. Um, his Zeta is very solid. Uh, Shinku, I know, has played Zeta, but also Shinku has played Gran um, as well. So um, those are just a few Zeta players to kind of keep an eye on um, if you want to look up more stuff with them. Oh, Unsafe on Hit also plays Zeta as well. Um, seen a lot of, uh, you know, uh, tech videos that he's been able to uh, show with Zeta. Oh, one other thing. I will show this too. Um, so Zeta is able to do like an instant um, air spear coming down. Um, basically what it is is that you you do the super, in, uh, super jump input and then do down attack immediately. So like it stores the the input still. So yeah, you do your super jump input down immediately, and then you get your your dive your dive with the spear. But you have to do it fast. And like I say you get you get a cool pickup off the two. Yeah, that's a little too high. So that is one other thing you can do as well. Um, with uh, Zeta, with uh, the super jump uh, install going right into the dive kick. So you make it basically like an instantaneous dive spear, which is which is cool. It's a good way to throw off some people if they're not expecting it. Um, like I said, it just a mix-up tool when you when you look at that. Um, so what are some basic combos with Zeta? Um, she does have a light confirm, um, which I, this is also shown in one of her trials too. So if you played through her trials, you're able to see this. So it's crouch light, crouch light, 5L into EX spear. <laughs> You get the corner carry, you get the knockdown, you get a safe jump setup um, with that. That's your standard um, light confirm. Keep missing that um, sweep by accident. Um, so that's her light confirm with that. Um, from 5M range, you go into light, um, the light Spear of Arvis, or the, uh, EX version. All those confirm. Obviously, the EX will score the knockdown for you because it's an EX. Um, max range 5.8. Any uh, strength um, spear lunge will work. Uh, so those are all kind of like her mid screens, as far as what you want with that from like max range. Um, Which is her basic, you know, basic enders that you want to push to to the. Her more damaging combos are obviously in the corner. Um, she can do a lot of different things. So like, uh, one combo I was showing off earlier. Uh, 
is that, except I keep missing the sweep. Because I'm terrible. There it is. So that's one that's a very damaging combo for her that, you know, you don't need to use super for. Um, her super combo enders. Uh, this one is her most damaging one. I should say one. I should say one of her most damaging ones. Like that's the one that I, that I kind of been messing around with that I found as to be her most damaging one. Um, and of course, she could also do the regular super as well. I can actually get it. Like that's pretty good damage too. And the other thing is. You didn't get the full animation because the first part of it didn't hit. There's a little bit of a gap there, but you're still able to get enough of a hit. Excellent. That one's actually pretty solid, too. Um... She is able to get some air-to-air -air confirms with her jump U as well. And then you can be able to go into super that way as well. Yeah, so that's corner only. But you can confirm with that with if you have meter. With the with the super, I mean. Yeah, so you can confirm that mid-screen if you have the meter for super. So. But yeah, those are all the things that, I like I said, I know with Zeta. Um, hopefully, that can help you with a, um, you know, with uh, some ideas of what to do with the character. At least gives you a good understanding of, like, what you're getting yourself into. When it comes to picking up Zeta and playing her. Um, and like I said, there's a balance patch that's gonna be around the corner in a you know maybe a few couple weeks or so, or maybe even next week, or it's sometime in April um when it's coming out. And I think the speculation that everyone is thinking that it's probably gonna be when Soros and Jita drops that's probably when we do get the balance patch which would make sense um so what you may see with this may change when that balance patch does happen in a couple weeks or so um and if there is um then you know obviously we'll look at it and we'll see what other changes were done and we'll re-explore what that is but this is um this is what you're getting with zeta right now um like i said the pros of this character very strong offensive toolkit has some really cool stuff when it comes to setups off of safe jumps and knockdowns um arguably best projectile in the game decent buttons decent damage um just a really solid offensive character that you have to keep momentum with that you have to score knockdown ones with very very dependent on the knockdown game is zeta um if she loses any momentum if her back's against the wall or she's at disadvantage the matchups become much more difficult for her but if she's able to keep momentum if she's able to keep a life lead and she's able to play her game the way she wants to um, she could be very very overwhelming um, for players to deal with that's kind of where I sit with her as far as Zeta and you know how she plays 
Also, the reason why I, that, that's, you know, I have the most fun with Zeta. Because I kind of like those high risk, high reward uh, types of characters that can, you know, really change how a match can be played and everything. Um, that's kind of the way I look at it. So, all right, guys. Well, that's going to go ahead and conclude the Zeta breakdown. Then we'll go ahead and wrap up the stream for tonight, too. And probably just kind of relax and chill for a little bit. Um, kind of get ready for a little bit of a work day tomorrow. But, yeah. This is the, uh, like I said, uh, my Zeta breakdown. If there's anyone that wants to add anything to it or, you know, wants to point out something else that you could do with it. Maybe I was wrong in one of my things. Um as far as like my descriptions as far as the character goes and everything um if so share it you know like i said i'm i'm an open book um and i think you know with people sharing info and saying like hey maybe this works instead or whatever i think it's uh great for just the community all around so with that said appreciate you guys watching appreciate you guys checking everything out and I will see you guys next time. Thanks again for watching, and take care.